two British helmets. Um, I believe they're both Mark II helmets, also known as the Brody helmet. Interestingly, this one's a much rounder shape than this one, which is more of um, you know an oblong shape. So this seems to me like to be a better shape, so it wouldn't surprise me if that was a later generation of it or some manufacturers did it slightly differently. But yeah, a bit of a difference in the shape of both of them. That, this one's missing a liner, but this one has the liner. And if that had the liner, it'd be screwed in there. This is an interesting helmet. It's the Swiss M18 helmet, which they had sort of during World War II and just before World War II. But obviously Switzerland didn't join the war, so the helmet didn't see combat. But it's also known as the Darth Vader helmet, and as you can see, it's an interesting shape. I believe this is the helmet Rip has in Hobo from a shotgun, or Hobo of a shotgun, sorry. Um, this one's missing the liner again, but it's a weird and interesting helmet. This is the most valuable helmet in my collection, despite the fact it's quite rusted and has no inside. It's a German helmet from World War II. Uh, not sure if this is an M38 or an M40 or an M35, M whatever, Stauhelm. There was lots of different variants. But um, it's missing the liner. It's very rusted. I've done enough video on it. But these go for stupid amounts of money because it's Nazi Germany. So I obviously haven't got a more up-to-date one. Uh, you know, with the paint on and everything and the liner. Yeah, quite good reproduction ones though, but that's the iconic, famous German helmet of World War II. This is what I believe to be a Russian M40 helmet, although I think this is manufactured in another Warsaw Pact country. There might be slight variants, but this is the helmet Russia had in World War II and the Cold War. Uh, the quite famous one. I've shot it because they're not, um, you know, historically valuable. There's so many, they're so easy to get for a low price, so it's more interesting for ballistic testing than... Um, just having as a display piece. The American famous M1 pot helmet uh, used during uh, some of World War II and in the Korean War, sort of Vietnam and everything else until they eventually replaced it with Kevlar helmets. It's basically a steel pot, it's got a plastic liner you can remove. This isn't an authentic American one, it was some of a NATO's country's own production under license. But yeah, that's the famous American M1 steel pot helmet. Now we have three British helmets, and these could be any uh, anywhere from the Mark III to the Mark V, because I find these quite hard to tell apart. Um, I think they are all the exact same helmet design, but um, obviously I'm not actually entirely sure which generation they are, so some of you might know out there. But used from some point during the Cold War or end of World War II to... Um, yeah, the end of the Cold War when they were replaced by the Kevlar helmets. This one's weird because it has the hammer and sickle painted on it. But as far as I'm aware, these were never given to the comm block or none of the countries used them. So I think we assumed in the comments on another video of this I uploaded that it's actually probably a prop from something where either for a TV show or some stage show or something They've got a British helmet, painted it like this, put a hammer and sickle on for like some communist soldier or something. But anyway, British Mark III, Mark IV, Mark, v, Mark V helmets, I'm not entirely sure. East German M56 style helm there on the mannequin. British Mark VI helmet, this one has the liner. You'll see there as well that there's um, mounts on either side for installing basically um, like a riot shield front foot visor uh, but this has got all the liner in it and um, yeah would be good to wear if I needed to wear a helmet I have heard this helmet's a bit flawed where if you're laying down prone trying to look down a rifle sight the helmet will keep tipping forwards like that um, but it's either ballistic nylon or Kevlar and it gives you much better protection than a steel helmet so if I had to use a helmet for anything, I'd use this helmet because it's the best actual functioning helmet I have. The Argus Riot helmet that you've seen in a few of my other videos where I've been testing it. 